Hi, Tony Caridi here, coming to you live from Music Mesa 2013. I'm along with a whole bunch of folks from Abbey Road Studios. Let me introduce you to Jonathan Smith, the general manager of Abbey Road Studios. Good afternoon. <laughs> Uh, along with Peter Coben, the uh, head uh, senior engineer at Abbey Road Studios. How are you doing? Uh, I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. And finally, we've got Mirk Styles, the uh, head of audio products. That's correct. Hello. Uh, hello. 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 Nice to be here. <laughs> so, we, um, so, in December, we went to Abbey Road Studios. We brought uh, Greg Wells, an amazing Grammy, multi Grammy, Grammy nominated producer, and we brought an awesome band. Uh, called Strange Fruit over to the studio and we had the absolute dream of being locked in a studio two for two days and in studio three for two days. Um, exceptional time, um, the staff was amazing, the, just being in that place was just incredible. Do you find, um, you know, when, when, when artists are coming into that studio, because I, obviously you get big orchestral and you get kind of your regulars in there I'm sure, but when artists come in there What's the what's the general reaction? Am I is it is it are they all are they all like completely flabbergasted? I would say yeah. I mean most most people who work there regularly still get a buzz about coming to Abbey Road, even though they're regular clients and come back all the time. I think a lot of the staff, even though we're locked in the studio, we we live in the studio. Uh, there's a sense of thrill at being kind of we're reminded daily. I mean there's people outside the crossing. It's a special place and it's a special place to work inside as well. Yeah, it's awesome. So, and then you've recently done a studio-wide upgrade to HDX. Um, I don't remember the number of systems, but it's over a dozen, I think, at least. Is that right? Yeah, at least a dozen rigs. Yeah. And what ha what's the has, has there been uh, situations in which you're using HDX, your clients are using HDX, and um, you're all of a sudden you're able to do something you haven't been able to do before, or has it really helped you out in any particular circumstances? Well, absolutely. I mean, Merrick, you jump in, but uh, I think particularly with the, the, the work, we do a lot of large film scores, uh, which are very hungry in terms of processing power, track count. Um, a lot of the orchestral recordings that we do is 96 kilohertz. So having uh, a much more powerful system to be able to uh, record many tracks. When we're in the, the studios, particularly Studio 1 and Studio 2 at Abbey Road, a fantastic acoustic environment. So we kind of make the most of our recordings by putting up lots of our wonderful vintage kind of you know, microphones uh, and capturing not only the musicians and the instruments, but also the, you know, the acoustic space itself, uh, which is great. But it, it's very thirsty when it comes to track count. And we only need to do a few overdubs, and because we might do our overdubs with lots of these microphones, an overdub might be 24 tracks. Suddenly the track count starts to build up very quickly. Uh, and we can run into sessions where we literally have hundreds of tracks. Uh, so the processing power that comes along with uh, HDX and the newer systems has been quite liberating for us to be able to use more tracks. <laughs> Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that doesn't make you feel like you're having any compromise at any point, and you can just yeah. you can just carry on being creative without having to think too much about if I add this, it's going to do this to the system, and you don't want to, you don't want to think like that. You just want to be able to be as creative as possible and just carry on with your workflow. Yeah, definitely. And then from a business perspective, what you know, how would you rate the the ROI in a system like this? Was because it's not you know this is an investment for any any business and it's technology and it's something that you know it seems like every few years you got to replace your computers and you maybe have to replace the cards the software needs to be upgraded um, is this how are you finding this investment into HDX is it something that you that you're happy with you think you're gonna get a, a nice return on yeah well, we're very pleased so far I mean um, we always try to stay ahead of the curve at Abbey Road it's very important to us that we are a premium studio so we always have to have the best the best gear the most up-to-date gear so you know, it, we didn't hesitate when Pro Tools 10 came out, we, we had to upgrade. Um, so, you know, and so far, you know, I've got absolutely no complaints. It's, you know, it's, it's done everything we asked of it. Excellent. So, so here we are at Music Mesa. We, were, we just announced Pro Tools 11, a uh, much anticipated 64-bit release. And it's got, I think, um, I think what I'm seeing is uh, customers are feeling like we really, you know, we didn't just deliver a 64-bit release. We delivered a whole lot more, a brand new uh, Avid audio engine. Um, offline bounce, incredible metering. Um, you're a user, Peter. 
Um, Mirik, you are too. Um, what do you guys think about the software? What do you, what's your impression? It's unbelievable. I mean, one of the reasons why Jonathan's here is he, he's got the checkbook. <laughs> and uh, what we're seeing here is really amazing. In fact, fantastic. I, I think having had a very quick look at it, uh, for me, one of the biggest things is the non-real-time offline bouncing. That is going to change and affect our workflow significantly. And I appreciate that behind kind of less sexy is probably a lot of the hard work that's gone into the upgraded uh, audio and video engines. Right. Stuff that you don't necessarily see, but I appreciate that the system 64-bit. There's, uh, there's probably uh, quite a few things in the system that will make it even more flexible. Uh, and for us to be able to, uh, as Merrick said, to do our work kind of without sort of any compromise. Well, so glad to hear that. So what's your impression? If you could say, seeing this, you guys are using HDX, you're using the new I.O. You see, I talked to a few of you guys about that already. You seem very pleased with the sound quality of the I.O. Um, now you're seeing Pro Tools 11. What's, how are you feeling about the direction Avid is going and how do you feel about Avid being there to continue to meet your challenges moving forward? I think I appreciate that at the high end of kind of usage of Pro Tools, I mean, perhaps our needs are a little bit different to the way that people use Pro Tools. I mean, we're really kind of pushing the, the vast numbers of things like track counts. Uh, over summer when I was recording, mixing all the music for the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games, I mean, we had track counts in sessions that went beyond a thousand kind of you know sort of yeah track so um, and we finished the year my colleagues we had a great year last year uh, Simon did Skyfall Jonathan did Les Mis Andy did Rise of the Guardians I was working on The Hobbit we did you know we, we do large film projects um, and all of these projects tend to push the systems and so in the last few years, along with uh, HDX 10 and now 11, uh, it's really exciting for us because a lot of the, the concerns that we have have been addressed. Uh, so that's good news for us. Excellent. Well, um, guys, thanks so much for your time. Jonathan, Peter, Merrick, uh, it's been great to talk with you. Thanks yeah. for making the time. Um, and again, thanks to everybody at Abbey Road Studios for making our experience there just incredible. Uh, we hope to keep working with you. And uh, for more information about Abbey Road Studios, go to abbeyroadstudios.com. Uh, Abbey That's correct, yep. Thank you. Yeah, okay, yeah. Just making sure. Yeah. I, think, I think our website is uh, abbeyroad.com. <laughs> Excuse me, I just got off a transatlantic flight. And um, thanks for joining us here, and we will see you online.